Welcome back to MXPTV.com with day two coverage of the Midwest Tour from Sunset Ridge at Walnut, Illinois. And Tom, today we're going to be covering the Pro-Am event that happened on Sunday. Tried 250A, 450A motos, had a lot of heavy hitters. It was actually the biggest class of the weekend. That's right, almost a full gate in the 250A class, in the 450A class, and we'll go ahead and get into those clips right now. These classes featured riders like uh, Jeremy Martin, Jonathan Six, Joe Perron, Vaughn Mays, Scott Zant, Cody Cam. Just tons of talent on the track. It was so deep. It really filled up the gates out there, and the action got underway in the first moto right away in the 250A. As you can see here, it's almost a full gate, the biggest class of the weekend. Grabbing the whole shot there is the 709 on the Kawasaki. That's Joe Perrin. That is full commitment going into that first corner with that full gate, and you can see the battle for first already. As they come down the downhill triple here, that's uh, Ty Tyrell out front now, taking the lead from Perrin with uh, Jeremy Martin on the 144 Suzuki running third. And they're going to keep on battling. Of course, Ty Tyrell still in front, but the battle for first is hitting up, heating up with Martin right behind him. That's right. Martin is moving into second, and he's all over the rear tire of Tyrell. And as you see Tyrell off to the side here, waving his arms in disgust, he has a flat tire wheel. That is such a bummer, but Johnny Six hitting the outside right there with that battle for second with 709. That's right. He's trying to make his move up, and eventually he's going to pull away to run to finish second at the end of the moto with Martin long gone in the lead. That's right. It was a really strong race from one, two, and three from everybody. And we spoke with the top three riders after Moto 1. Jeremy, you got out to a good start out there, really passed and got into first quickly. Tell me a little bit about your race and how you felt out there. It was a great moto. I had an awful gate, Vic, and uh, I got out like third in the start, I think, and just worked my way forward, and I ate some sand and got some dirt boogers and stuff, but I had a great time and got out front and rode my own race. We have Johnny here with us. You put on a good moto out there. Tell me a little bit out there and how you felt. Uh, I got off to a pretty decent start. I had to pass a few people, but... Felt pretty good otherwise, kind of made a few mistakes, they were kind of catching up, but I kept the gap on it so they couldn't catch me. As Scott Zant with you right now, you really put a hard charge on there, got into third place. Tell me a little bit how you felt out there in the 20 minute moto. Uh, it was, uh, started off kind of slow, but we picked up pace a little bit I think, and uh, some of the front runners were making some mistakes, and uh, just able to capitalize on it by staying smooth, and hopefully I get a better start in the second moto and do the same thing. Awesome. Is there anybody you'd like to thank? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. TZR, uh, Club 57, Decal Works, uh, Garnet, Smith, Williams Motor Works, and uh, Barone Spinal Care and Performance. After the 250 class, Tom, you can really tell that Jeremy Martin was out on a mission out there. Yes, he was. At uh, Sunset Ridge, he had a lot of competition, the biggest classes of the weekend, like we said. And uh, coming up in the Open A class, you got even some, uh, some more big names in the form of Shane Sewell, who's been running the Nationals, and Daniel Alsebrook, who ran very strong on Saturday. That's right. All these riders really were out there pushing hard. Now, Martin, also, he's from Minnesota, so uh, he's, he's familiar with this type of terrain, this type of soil, and uh, just, he just really fell home here immediately coming to Sunset Ridge. Right off the start, you can see that there is extra competition in this 450 class with Sewell out in front. Just behind him is the 144. Martin, just as we expected, still running strong in this open A class. And behind those two, you've got uh, the rest of the competition in Alsebrook, Joseph Dalzel, Cody Cam, Jonathan Six. There's tons of guys out on the track, all of them capable of winning a moto. Yeah, the battles between 4th, 5th, 6th, it was all there throughout this day race. Here's a look at Martin as he comes through the finish line section here. Just really walking away with this moto just as he did in the 250 class. Really showing these guys the fast way around the Sunset Ridge racetrack. Yeah, whenever he got out in front, he was just so smooth and so consistent and so aggressive at the same point in time. You know, that, that's something that's hard to do. You know, you get some of these fast guys and they get a little out of control. And, you know, sometimes you can tell they're going fast, but they're just not smooth. But with the way Martin rides and his style, technique, he just looks so fluid on the bike. And you can hardly tell he's even going fast. I felt pretty good, you know, I kind of had the track dialed in because I uh, raced 258 and that was Moto 7 and this was Moto 15, so I got a second or, second or third place start and one of the Sewell brothers pulled the hole shot and they actually had a pretty good, pretty big hole shot, but uh, it was cool to be able to battle it out with them and then uh, be able to get by them and try to ride my own race. Shane, you got out there, you had a huge start and then you rode a really strong moto. Tell me a little bit how you're feeling today. I'm um, a little bit sluggish, I uh, couldn't keep up with Jeremy, Jeremy was ripping and uh, Hopefully next moto I can fix my bike and I won't be falling apart on me. All right, pulling out of the third today, we have Daniel Ozzybrook. You rode a really great race. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it was good. You know, I was hoping for a better start, but I uh, ended up like probably within the top 10 for sure, probably like eighth or something. And uh, I just rode really smart. I know yesterday I was trying to push it a little too much and I hit the ground a few times. So today I was just trying to be smart and uh, I'm happy with the third.
Moto 2 of the 250A got off to a great start. You see that Yamaha on the front, Tom. That's right. There was also a Yamaha off the track a little ways back, but it's Ty Tyrell grabbing the early lead here again with the 144 Martin not far behind. And he got right around Ty Tyrell. And of course, Martin, he is just on standing at this track this weekend. In the second spot there, we see Tyrell trying to hold off the 673 of Jonathan Six, who uh, took third in the first moto and trying to do, or second in the first moto, trying to do the same thing here in the second moto. Here we have a battle for third with 353 and 811, Tom. That's right, Cam jumping to the inside of Vaughn Mays right there to take over the number three spot. And then Vaughn's going to find himself in a battle for the number four spot with the 709 of Joe Perrin. So many different line choices out here. You see one of them going to the inside, one to the outside. Vaughn's going to be able to hold the number four spot, and Perrin, by the end of the moto, is actually going to drop back to the number six spot, losing a spot to Brandon Pope. You never know what can happen in these longer motos. And once again, we talk to the top three finishers in this moto. You guys have really been out there really dominating today. Um, what are some things that you have planned in your future? Um, for the future goal is to hopefully turn pro next year. I don't know where what I'm going to be doing yet, so I'm just kind of hanging out, riding some pro-am events, and uh, finding some competition. All right, I have Johnny back with me. He had a great moto out there, ended up second. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel pretty good. I got off to a good start, but kind of had some troubles in the first corner, hit somebody. Luckily, I didn't go down, so came out with a second. I'm pretty pumped about that. Are you going to be hitting up any other pro -Am events? Uh, I'll probably see what, what other ones are coming up. I might hit a few more. Awesome. Who would you like to thank on today? Uh, Decal Works, TLD, TZR, Illinois Power Sports, and uh, that's about it. All right, thank you so much. Cody Cam is here. He got a nice, solid third place finish. Came back from the first motos. Uh, yeah, the first motos, I had a pretty good start, and I just kept crashing the whole time. I ended up 10th. This moto, about 10th place start again, and I rode good and caught up to third. Between Moto 1 and Moto 2, not a whole lot changed, but there were so many riders out there that were really impressive to watch. Shane Sewell being another one of them. That's right, Shane's been running the Nationals. They ran strong most of the year. He's putting on good showing this weekend here at Sunset Ridge. And uh, just a lot of great action on the track. The top three riders are the same, but behind them, it was kind of a little bit of a mix and match between the first and second motos. Jeremy swept all the motos today. Really great effort. How did you feel out there? I felt pretty good. I felt like I got the track down better as I went. I just got a little bit faster each time I went out. Awesome. Who would you like to thank overall today? Uh, the man up above, my mom and dad, Extreme Rockstar, Suzuki, Thor, Renthal, Scott Goggles, Renegade Race Fuels, Dunlop Tires, Pro Circuit, and my riding coach, Dylan Turner. Awesome. Thank you so much. Shane, you rode a really great race out there. Your second overall. That's pretty awesome. How'd you feel overall in the day? Uh, great. I mean, First is always better, but uh, I'll learn from it, and uh, next race you'll see me at, I'll be a little better. What kind of things do you have planned for the rest of the year? Um, kind of just enjoy time and uh, basically work on my fitness instead of riding, get a little rested up, and maybe do some supercross in the winter. Who would you like to thank today? Uh, Cycle Sport Yamaha, FXR, Von Zipper Goggles, and Cycle uh, uh, Pro Taper. That's about it. Awesome, thank you. I have Daniel Ossiebrook with me, got third overall once again today, that is awesome. How'd you feel out there? I felt great, I had a blast out there today and uh, you know we had like 36 or 38 guys out there and it was awesome. I haven't ridden a full, close to a full gate like that in forever and uh, it was awesome. Just had a blast and uh, rode really good, got a good start so I'm happy. After this weekend, Tom, you can really tell that Jeremy Martin came down here and really proved he's ready for the A-Class. What do you think he's going to be doing in his future? Well, I think that's the big question. Like you said, he came down here, showed us what he's made of. He went four for four on the day, really a big weekend, and uh, against some pretty fast guys in Alsey Brook and Shane Sewell, we all know he's fast running on the Nationals. So, you know, like you said, the big question is, where does he go from here? And on tomorrow's show, Tom, we'll have even more standout riders from the weekend. That's right. We're going to take a look at uh, some of the amateur classes from Sunday. Uh, a couple of the classes include the 250B, Open C, and uh, Plus 30A. And I think we're also going to take a look at some new uh, swag, maybe? That's right. We have a clothing line that we're going to show you guys and plenty more. Make sure you tune back into MXPTV.com tomorrow for more on that. Who would you like to think on the day? Uh, Port Yamaha FXR EVS, uh, Race Tech Suspension, my dad. 
half a map. Um, that's about it, I guess. Awesome. Good job today. Thank you.